Anesthetic medications have been around for more than a century and work well to ensure people don't feel pain or wake up in the operating room. But sometimes the medications given around surgery can have lingering effects, such as subtle memory loss or difficulty solving problems. Some patients get very confused or experience hallucinations. Patients like Olive, who has undergone many surgeries, knows this can be a risk. You have to put up with all the mess. You know, it does to your brain, you know. Anesthetics do more than put people to sleep, says Dr. Beverly Orser. The drugs act on various receptors in the brain to make sure people don't remember what happens in the operating room, and that's a good thing. But the bad thing is, about 30% of surgical patients will experience changes to their brain function one week after surgery. And after three months, about 10% of patients will still have problems with memory and attention. What we were surprised to find is that performance does not go back to baseline once the drugs are eliminated. And we found that there are subtle, persistent memory deficits that last long after the drugs have gone. Dr. Orser's lab is now studying why this happens and what can be done to prevent it. In early preclinical research, they discovered a class of drugs that can reverse some of the long-term effects of anesthetic drugs. So we're way past being satisfied that they're surviving. We want them to thrive. We want them to be better than they were when they came um, you know, into the operating room. Olive says surgery patients need good supports after they leave the hospital just in case they run into trouble, something she was lucky to have. Well, I have a good family that uh, I only got to ring them and they're here. And, um, you know, I, I get all the help I need. But she says research in this area is also important. Anything to help patients like herself get back to a high quality and independent life. With Sunnyview, I'm Monica Mattis.